Hello boys and girls, today is Wednesday, April 15th, and I am going to read you James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl, and today we are in chapter 33. Far below them in the city of New York, something like pandemonium was breaking out. A great round ball as big as a house had been sighted hovering up in the sky over the very center of Manhattan, and the cry had gone up that it was enormous bombs sent over by another country to blow the whole city to smithereens. Air raid sirens began wailing in every section. All radio and television programs were interrupted with announcements that the population must go down into their cellars immediately. One million people walking the streets on their way to work looked up into the sky and saw the monster hovering above them and started running for the nearest subway entrance to take cover. Generals grabbed hold of telephones and shouted orders to everyone they could think of. The mayor of New York called up the president of the United States down in Washington, D.C. to ask for help. And the president, who at that moment was having breakfast in his pajamas, sound familiar, anyone? quickly pushed away his half-finished plate of sugar crisps and started pressing buttons right and left to summon his admirals and the generals. Here's a picture of that policeman going crazy. And all the way across the vast stretch of America and all the 50 states from Alaska to Florida, from Pennsylvania to Hawaii, the alarm was sounded and the word went out that the biggest bomb in the history of the world was hovering over New York City. And at any moment, it might go off. Okay, tomorrow we will read chapter 34. Sorry, that was such a short one. And then guess what? The book is almost over. <gasps> the book is almost over. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then it's over. And then I'll have to pick a new book to read to everyone. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.